at the Green Planet in Dubai City Walk. These two little girls are going to be zookeepers for a day. It's an experience aimed at children over nine where they get to learn about animal care and animal feeding and animal management. You excited? Yeah. yeah. Should we go and meet the biologist? Yes. Let's go. Hi, my name is Lan and I'm nine years old. Hi, I'm Mela and I'm nine years old. And today we're at Green Planet. And this is Peter. Hi everyone. Uh, so today you're going to be the zookeeper of the day. Hey, are you excited to be here? Yes. So today we are going to learn so many things about different animals or different species. At any time, if you have, uh, if you have any question, just let me know your question and then I'm going to answer you, okay? So, uh, of the animal care. In here we have some of the animals that in the morning we just prepare them, we feed them, and then we take them out to the bio. And for today, we are going to see different animals. I can show you one of them. That's called Pac-Man frog. <laughs> you know the video yeah. uh, Pac-Man? Yeah. So he has a very big mouth. It's like from one ear to the other side, that's the size of the mouth. And they eat okay. almost everything. Uh, here we feed them with super worms, little worms, and baby mice, like small rats, uh, once a week, yeah? So what we are going to do now, uh, we are going also to prepare some of the animals. Huh? Uh, do you want to touch a cockroach? Yes. Yes. So we yes. have a cockroach and we have a millipede. You are going to go with me on the other side and then we just bring the cockroach. We bring them here and then we feed them, okay? Okay. Okay, okay let's walk with me. Come this side. <laughs> so what you are going to do before we finalize, uh, we are going to feed the beetles, the millipede and the cockroach. And today they are going to have apples. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're just going to take some apples, you place them on the stone, and throughout the day they are going to eat that. You just put there. Uh, you can use the other one as well. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Uh, with the millipede, they are decomposers, so even if they take it from the soil, it's fine with them. Uh, then you just place it over there. So I'm going to give you one of them. Just have them. Oh, it's okay. There you go. So you just keep your hand flat and straight. And then the other one is going to come to you once it's done. There you go. So they're two, they are sisters and they come from South America. Uh, they are called kites. Yeah, that's their species. Oh, they're really nice and colorful. Yeah. They're very colorful. But every part of their body is a different color. Yeah. Uh, if you see them when they are young, the head is like black. But once they mature, just to be able to tell their other friends we are ready to mingle, they change to become orange. That's true. Yeah. So we are going to take them to the bio, and then they're just going to be free there for the whole day. Then later in the evening, we're just going to bring them back, yeah? So this is a, a panda chameleon, they come from Madagascar. So the one I'm giving to you, it's a boy. Uh, the female, they are a little bit like pinkish in colors, uh -huh. but the uh, male, they are like blue with a white line over there. Yeah, that's and they great. only change their colors according to their emotion, like how they feel oh, in a particular time. I thought time. it was just what they like, were on. Uh, it depends with the species. Some of them change according to their uh, environment, but it's just going to reflect the light. But with the panda, only according to their uh, emotion. So the wallabies, they come from Australia, uh, and they are marsupials. Do you know what that means? No, no. Marsupials mean they have a pouch, they have a small pocket in here. Like so, kangaroos. Like the kangaroos, yeah, that's what happened. So the mommy uh, wallabies, when they have a baby, the baby clothes inside their pouch, but the baby is not like fully developed, it just go inside their pouch. He stay there for a few months, almost like four to six months. Uh, once the baby is big enough, he's just going to come out, and he's just going to start coping along. Yeah? Okay. Uh, and we feed them with different food. And today they are going to have pellets. You can see we have the big pellets, uh -huh. the small ones, and they have carrot as well. So carrot is one of their favorite food. We are going to give them uh, afterward. 
These are pellets. And these are carrots. As Peter said, they're Wallaby's favourite food. So now we're in the uh, food preparation area. Uh, we are going to prepare some diet for a few parrots. So right now we are going to prepare for the blue and gold macaw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you look here on the chart, the blue and the gold macaw, in the morning they have vegetables. So you just press it on there, we press zero, mm -hmm. and then you have to put the vegetables, different type of vegetables, just to make up uh, 200 grams. Yeah. The bite of the chip feeder and it reads the chips of these cuties. Now that we've weighed these cuties, the weight of the one was 70 grams. They are so nice and soft. chicken are back from their zookeeper for a day experience. Have you had a nice time? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Layla, what was your favourite bit? Um, mine was probably the wallabies. Yeah. Lana? Uh, uh. Mine was the wallabies and the sugar canes. So the zookeeper for a day experience runs every day at 8.30. It's five hours long. Um, you can sign up for your kids to do it online. It's from ages nine and above. Girls, we want to say a big thank you to Peter. Thank you, Peter. And you want to come back one day? Yes. yes. Brilliant. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.